Okay, so this is gonna be like a conversion video um, and sort of an experiment, something that I'm kind of uh, been wondering about and uh, so I bought another frame to confirm this so we'll see. So this is the Diatone uh, GTR249, no, 239HD, so it's the two inch version of their GTR series with the um, split mini. So this is the version one here that had all the Jello issues and Pretty much, no matter what I did, uh, gel never, never never went away. So one of the things I was wondering about is if I swapped the frame out, uh, would it would would it matter? Would, would the gel go away? And the other thing I was wondering is if I go from a smaller two inch prop size to a bigger two and a half inch prop size, would that make a difference? So I ended up getting this frame here. Actually, I don't remember what this is called. Um, I'll put the name up on the screen here. It's actually a two and a half inch frame, and it's a little bit like a dead cat style with the camera sort of forward and just have some standoffs here, some M2 standoffs, um, pretty simple. You know, some TPU parts here. This is for the uh, front here for um, protecting the front of the bottom plate and then you have some little TPU um, camera mounts here. I might, I'll start with this at first and I'm have to switch this if there's Jello. Uh, my whole goal here is to see if going to a different frame and bigger props on the same camera here. I haven't changed anything and it's one of the reasons I kind of kept this around and I was going to take it apart but then I decided I'm going to, oh, I'm just going to move everything over to a new frame and see how it does. So that's the experiment. I want to see if the frame makes a difference and also moving to bigger prop size make a difference. And then this frame here with the standoffs in the front I can create some different TPU mounting solutions and hopefully if um, I still have Jello at that point then maybe that can make a difference for some of you guys that have bought this and want a solution to your Jello problems because um, I know that they're offering the version 2 canopy for this as well although you have to then modify this if you want to use um, the turtle and all that. I, I don't want to get into all that. It's a, that's a, probably a whole other video um, but I, I really wanted to just to see what is possible with this knowing that on this setup here the way it is um, there's Jello but then moving to something else what will happen. So that's sort of what's going on here with this video. Um, I'm going to move everything over and we'll see what the flight footage looks like. Okay, so here's the uh, final conversion with all the parts moved over. I did have to put the video transfer in the back like that by zipping it, <laughs> zip tying it to that back standoff, and I zip tied the receiver to the bottom plate like that. It seems to be fine. Much longer flight times on the two and a half inch prop, but as you can tell on the video, I still have Jello, but that's without this ND filter here. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you more footage of this here. So this, this, okay, this is a. Uh, ND filter from a Mavic Air, I believe. Um, yeah, I'll put a link down in the description. So this pack, so people complained when I did the last video on ND filters that it was too expensive. They are expensive, just in general. This is the cheapest one I could find. Uh, it comes in a two-pack. It's an ND32 and an ND64, but you'll see in the footage, it's a slightly overcast day. I'm using the ND32, and that's a little bit on the dark side, so I did have to adjust that. Um, ND16 would be more appropriate for those conditions, but that this cheapest two pack that I could find uh, doesn't have uh, doesn't come in a 16 or an 8. This only comes in the 32 and 64. It's like 20 bucks for two of these. And uh, yeah, this is if you want to use an ND filter with your split mini with the M8 lens. This only works with the M8 lens. Um, I have a little TPU, say a little white ring there. It's a little TPU adapter that I will put up on Thingiverse. Link down in the description. You just print that out and then put that inside the ND filter and then basically just put this on top of the lens and that does work. You do get a little bit of the filter showing up in the corners but then you can get rid of it using the lens distortion um, effect 
in Premiere or in your editor, or you can just crop it in on your video editor if you just if you don't want to do that. But this is one way to get rid of the Jello. It there's still a little bit of Jello there because what I'm what I'm doing here is you know I'm showing you that the lens the lens elements inside this M8 lens is actually the cause. Now I can hide the Jello with this ND filter, so a lot of it. it You'll see you know, from before when it was sunny and no indie filter, you could definitely see the gel, but it's a little bit less noticeable with the indie filter in the second clip that you'll see here after I'm done talking. Um, so that's one way you could, you know, if you happen to have a split mini with an M8 lens, you could, you know, hide the gel that way. But what I'm going to do here is I want to actually get this to be even a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to probably swap this lens out for something else, like say from Fox Ear. Another M8 lens, I think from the Predator, I think that might work. And then also use the ND filter, but I think I'll use an ND16 instead of an ND32. I'm going to try and find a Mavic Air ND16, because ND32 is really only good for like a very, really, really bright day. Because you can see that there's a little bit, it's a little bit, the image is a little bit dark. In any event, um, I'll show you the footage. You can, you can see if there's a gradual improvement. You can see what it looked like in the original frame. Um, this one here, you you can go back to that video and see what that footage looks like compared it to what the footage looks like in this frame without the ND filter, and then the third step here in this frame with the ND filter. You guys, let me know what you guys think. It's a lot of work to kind of modify this. You know, obviously we better just to swap this camera out, um, but I found out that this camera is glued there, so I can't remove it. Unfortunately, so my only option is to somehow deal with this lens issue here, and I'm, I'm trying to find workarounds. So, more um, you know, experimentation with uh, bad run cam cameras and Jello coming up in a future video. But yeah, here's footage of this, and you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if uh, any of you guys out there are in my Patreons uh, are interested in getting this frame. Uh, let me know, send me a message on Patreon, and um, I'll work out something with you guys to send it to you. Because um, I'm not going to be using this frame anymore. So, that's it, and here's some flight footage.